Peggy 16. Where I'm from, history is impossible to escape. It's found where a shack once hosted a blues guitar prodigy in loamy cotton fields. It's in the remnants of industry and the great winding river itself. Life here has taught us resilience. But now our community is overwhelmed and we need your help. Help us prepare the next generation. Show them what a true hunter's made of. Why not cut your teeth stalking gray foxes in the pine forest? Or try flushing a flock of bobwhite quail out of the grasslands of the low country. We got a raccoon problem, requires some firepower. Or if you're in the mood for something a little more old school, try prehistoric. Our state reptile is the indomitable American alligator. Welcome to the place where I'm from. Welcome to the home of the blues and the soul of the Deep South. Mississippi Acres Preserve. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and in today's episode I'm going to cover the new Mississippi map called Mississippi Acres that will soon be released to the Hunter Call of the Wild. With this be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more videos and join the discord to get hints of new videos before they are uploaded on YouTube. With this let's get into the new map. So the first thing I wanted to mention about the new map is the new weapon, the 22 Hornet. So. This was released as the 22H, which was later found as the 22 Hornet. This weapon is a bolt action that is capable of hunting everything from rabbits to coyotes in real life. And in the game, I believe we might be able to see it hunt everything from rabbits to the new animal raccoons to maybe coyotes. This should be another great weapon to the game, especially to new players, because it makes it so that you don't have to have the first weapon pack to have a reliable 22 long rifle. And with this, let's get into the bulk of today's video, the new animals. Now for the animals, we see a whopping six new animals. To start, I'll just restate the ones that are already huntable in the Hunter Call of the Wild, which are the black bear, white-tailed deer, and feral pigs. But now as I start to talk about the new animals, this is where it gets interesting. So one of the animals that we are going to be hoping to see with the new swamp map was another form of turkey, and we sure got this. It is an eastern turkey, and like its cousins in Teoroa, Silver Ridge Peaks, and Rancho del Arroyo, it will be a class 1 and most likely be able to be shot with the new 22 Hornet. Because we have yet to see any pictures of it, it's still a mystery what it might look like, but this also goes towards the idea that we might be seeing a turkey slam here in the future. The next animal we have is the eastern cottontail rabbit. This animal has already been the hunter classic, and they add such a fun element to the game just being able to run and gun down these level 1 critters as they scurry into the brush. These animals we can assume may look like their ancestors to the west, the white-tailed jackrabbits, although they could have a completely new look. The next animal that we're going to look at coming to the hunter call of the wild is the gray fox. These animals in my opinion uh, look absolutely amazing and they differ greatly from the red fox that we're used to. These animals could be a class 2 and will most likely be able to hunt be hunted with the 22 hornet. These animals live just as red foxes would but usually in hotter places and I cannot wait to get a diamond level 9 gray fox. Following this the next animal we have is the northern bobwhite quail. There wasn't a lot of pictures shown of this or I should say good pictures. It was in the dark a little bit in this picture but these game birds are native to most of the United States and can actually be found in my home state of Pennsylvania. Uh, these animals are similar to pheasants where I believe you have to shoot them out of the air to get full credit and that also means that the um, 1897 Cusco from Rancho del Arroyo is still useful on this map so that means that this gun can actually still be used again. 
and although many are bummed out that the new swamp map doesn't have waterfowl species i'm still extremely grateful to have the species of quail in the game i was really hoping to see one then for the next animal expansive worlds really threw all players a curveball by adding raccoons they had never really looked into small game that cannot be classified as a rabbit or game bird, but raccoons are different. This truly is a step in the right direction of the game, and even more surprising, in the trailer it showed that the raccoon digging through the trash cans, and well, if you look at it, this is actually an in-game mechanic. Uh, yes, you will literally see raccoons digging through trash cans in the game, so I guess now we can officially call them the Trash Panda. Then finally, the last animal that will be new to the reserve is the one I am most excited to see, the alligator. This was an extremely needed upgrade to the game, and it not only shows that the game is making progress, but it is also now trying to become as realistic as possible. And when I say this in quotations, that they're adding animals that are weird, this can be said because these animals are semi-aquatic, meaning they can both live on water and land. Uh, with this, they're just amazing looking. They did a really good job designing this animal, and I'll give credit where credit's due. It looks amazing, and definitely I'm looking forward to see what I believe is going to be a level 9 alligator. Then to conclude, there's one last part that I wanted to throw in, and that is on December 7th, all platforms will be able to download the DLC. And this is simultaneous, which is something we've been asking for I mean, the last time this happened, I believe it was Quattro Kalina. So it has been a really long time, and they're finally bringing it back. PC, PlayStation, and Xbox are all getting this new map on the same day. It is finally becoming equal and giving everybody equal opportunity to play this new map. I feel like this is a huge upgrade, and it really shows that EW is trying to step up their game and really trying to fix their game that they kind of put themselves into. And... I cannot describe enough how thankful I am for this. So with that in mind, thank you all for watching and make sure you go down below and like the video. If you want to join the Discord, you can. You'll see updates before they come out on YouTube. And that's really it. I will for sure be making videos on the new Mississippi Acres map whenever it comes out. And thank you guys all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.